And now to talk about the tropics, it's November 1st, not a day where we think we're going to be covering a lot of tropical things. But of course, we are still in hurricane season, just 30 days left. It ends on November 30th, but there are the two tropical storms. Lisa formed yesterday morning and Martin this morning. Now to go into detail with these two, both are forecast right now to become hurricanes. But as I was saying earlier, Martin may be not a very long lived hurricane because it will probably transition into a non tropical storm system still powerful but non tropical when it joins up with another system and merges with that system in an, uh, the next day or two. But again, it might become a category one hurricane. It was non tropical. The National Hurricane Center has said now it is tropical and then it will become non tropical again. So that's Martin's story set to stay out over waters. This is Lisa getting close now to the coast of Central America, and it's going to skirt along the coast here in the Bay of Honduras and move into Belize potentially as a hurricane by sometime tomorrow. So this is going to be a system that will probably still tap into these warm waters, like I was saying over this part of the Caribbean Sea. In fact, most of the Caribbean Sea still looking at those sea surface temperatures, middle to upper 80s. So it may strengthen rather quickly and then again make its landfall tomorrow. It has strengthened already winds at 60 miles per hour. And then once it moves inland, it will likely fall apart very fast and will just be a remnant low and probably dissipating by that point you see there over parts of Mexico. We are expecting it not to get into the Gulf because again of that big high that we've been seeing in the forecast for quite some time. So not a threat for the Gulf Coast. Our hurricane season though with these two storms We've now reached 13 named storms. That's average for this point in the year, but we're a little below average numbers for hurricanes and major hurricanes. But one thing that we've been talking about is the ACE, the accumulated cyclone energy. How much energy are these storms actually using? And notice that we are only at about 73% of normal for this time in the year. The average right now is 115 for the ACE and we're only at 84. We'll see how much Lisa and Martin add to that, but still looking below average when you just look at the energy. Seven day forecast shows our temperatures gradually increasing. Chance for a few showers this weekend, but not a really high chance. And our temperatures continuing in the lower 80s into early next week.